Hello everyone and welcome to the new episode. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to get the results that you can see behind me. So in today's episode we're going to learn how to import the custom character from the Mixamo and how to import animations with it. So let's get right into it. Okay, so now first thing that we want to go is we want to open Mixamo.com on our browser and we're going to have to create account, sign up to Adobe and then we're gonna be re redirected here and here we can choose whatever we want we can choose any characters that we want for me I'm gonna choose Alien Soldier because it's the coolest one and I will, I will download it and when you download it your format needs to be FBX and the pose needs to be T-Pose okay now that we download that we want to go ahead and we want to add some animations to our character so as you saw on the start of the video, we, will, we are going to be implementing, uh, implementing uh, capoeira, but you can take any of those. And we're going to simply press download, but if you want to change anything here, you can change speed, you can change everything, you can change even arm space. But for the sake tutorial, I'm just going to reset it, and I'm going to download it. And when you download it, your format needs to be BFBX, frames per second, I like to put 60, and the skin, without skin, because we already have skin on the character that we ju just downloaded. So we press download. And now, after we did that, we will open our UE5 as well. And I'm going to create folder and call it a character. Actually, I will call it alien. I'm gonna bring first we want to import the skeleton or character so here we want to check everything is fine and this should be everything fine here but, uh, on default don't select any skeletons here and click import now it's gonna take some time to import it and now when we import it we are gonna also import our capoeira fbx that is our animation and when you import the animation you need to be sure to select which skeleton you want for that animation and in our particular is alien that's uh, ch uh, 44 so we're gonna select that and we're gonna import okay so now we imported skeleton mesh as you can see and we also imported animations animation which you can also see if we simulate you can see he has animations and you can see it works perfectly he's playing animation but uh, to make it um, to make this animation apply to your character so if you if we go to the game right now you can see I'm still default Unreal Engine uh, pawn I mean uh, model and uh, if we want to create uh, our character that uh, applies animations when we go when we input commands like going forward uh, we need to create blend space and I will leave that for the other video so for today this is it that I wanted to show you how to import animation and character and in the next episode I'm gonna teach you how to use them and how to apply them to your character so until the next time bye